It's that time again. It's time to give the Traxxas Emax a Doug score. Geronimo! Before we get started on the scoring, let's talk about the Traxxas Emax in general. The Emax is an all-wheel drive radio control monster truck that's roughly between an 8 scale and a 10 scale. It started production in 2000 and it succeeds its nitro brother, the T-Max. And then the car that came after the E-Max is the X-Max, which is twice the size of the T and E-Max. During the T-Max and E-Max's production run, Traxxas did offer a rear-wheel drive version of the T-Max called the S-Max. Unfortunately, that was discontinued and now the car that replaces it is the X-Max. Now, with all that aside, it's time to give the E-Max a Doug score. Starting with the Celestio Char which measures styling and performance. The E-Max is a pretty big truck and with the big meaty tires, it makes the little kids think that the truck is half their height, sort of. Therefore, it gives it a solid 19 points. Top speed is awesome. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to top out at a high speed of 65 miles an hour, which says it on the box, but I did hit a good 50 miles an hour, which gives it a perfect score of 25 points. Handling is average. The truck does steer upon commands, which is pretty impressive. Everywhere where I want this car to go, it automatically goes where I want it to go. However, just like the tracks of Slash, the E-Max has both the high center gravity chassis and I also noticed that this car has the soft springs like what the Slash has stock. With these two things in mind, every time I turn the car from high speeds, the grip of the tires makes the E-Max traction roll, therefore giving it a 15. Acceleration is actually pretty good and with the brushless setup and LiPo batteries installed in this truck, it gives it a good 22 points. Add it all up and the total Celestial score is 81 points, which beats the Slash two-wheel drive by the ton. The story is a little different in the lunar chart. Let's talk about durability. Durability is controversial. After watching Jang's review of the Emax, he stated that the truck suffered too much carnage. I will also put the video of his review of the Emax in the end screen later on in this video. I would give it a poor score, but Jang did say that the new Emaxes are more durable than the old ones made between 2000 and 2006. Luckily, my durability test of the Emax stood well, and it can actually do somersault, which is actually pretty cool to me, and it gives it a good score of 17 points. Not the best, but totally not the worst. I bet I'm going to get a heated argument from a commenter uh, after saying this. For quality, the Emax is also a mixed opinion. Yeah, I know most Traxxas parts are roughly the same plastic material, but after watching Jang's durability test, I have to drop it down to a 15. With features and equipment, on the other hand, just like the Slash, the Emax is fairly versatile. You can have the cheap brush system or you can get the more expensive brushless version like I'm showing here. However, unlike the Slash, the Emax doesn't offer different body styles, but it still remains a good score of 21 points. I also like the looks of this TQI controller and the extra features that it has. For value, I think that the price is a little on the high side. For about half of the price, I can get an Arma Granite brushless, but I do think that many Traxxas lovers will still enjoy the Emax, and I'll give it a good 15 points. Add it all up and the total Lunar score is 68 out of 100, which is pretty good. Finally, the total Doug score of the Traxxas MXL6 Emax is 149 out of 200, which is an awesome score for a Traxxas MT. Kudos for Traxxas for making it to Emax. I hope Traxxas makes some improvements with the Emax and T-Max because that durability kind of holds the score down just a little bit. If they did make the improvements, I would probably reconsider giving it a better score.